Hi, my name is Carlos. I'm one of the members of the EverQuest 2 development team and we're here to take a look at GU63. Uh, let's take a look. So this is the Withered Lands. This is the first place we're going to take a look at. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of green and there's uh, satyrs standing around and giving quests. Um, this is actually one of the few areas in the zone that is actually untouched by the corruption that's plaguing the lands. Um, if you look at these giant uh, monuments here, these are the only thing that are protecting these small areas, which have become sort of safe havens for uh, the denizens here. If you look out beyond, you can see the forest, which is all corrupted and twisted and gnarly looking. So this area is the Caval Ruins. This is an old giant outpost from Kale that has been broken off and uh, been separated from the rest of their kin. You take a look at the giants here, you notice something a little bit different about them. They've been corrupted just like the forest has, where some of their appendages have, are now part of plants and different forms of corruption. Moving further into the fortress here, you'll see some of the plant life has actually been affected quite a bit and uh, is now overgrowing and, and kind of taking over the entire area. Our team did a great job on this area and all the areas in this zone. It's just really, really cool. We tried to push the boundaries of what we could do artistically. So this area is called the uh, Tears of Tuner. It is kind of a swampy area with uh, some plant life and alligators and elementals and the like. This is one of the other half of the zone uh, which is separated by the Holgresh Pass where you'll get to see some of the Holgresh from uh, Awakening Lands which is what this area used to be. Um, it's no longer under the protection of Tuner and is uh, the corruption has pretty much touched everything and, and turned it into a very nasty place. There's all sorts of nasty encounters that you'll, you'll find throughout this whole area, such as bubbles like these. So yes, this is one of the mud monsters. This is a, a new model that we've made that uh, is supposed to be made up of the, the grime and muck on the ground here. It's very cool. There might even be a player illusion players can, can obtain. So one of the other creatures we have in this area is Hanvar, which you guys might have seen as uh, the creation of Lumpy the dragon. Um, he's off in the distance over there, if you can see him. He's, he can be spotted through pretty much the entire area. If he's around, you'll know he's there. He makes his presence pretty well known. And this is a brand new model. He's uh, pretty unique. We tried to kind of deviate from the uh, normal dragon models that we've had in the, uh, in the game. So as you can see, you can probably tell why he's nicknamed Lumpy. So this is Sky Shrine. Uh, this is the other part of the game update that we're going to show off today. And uh, it's uh, very unique. It's, it's got a lot of visually awesome areas. And uh, this is one of them I wanted to show everybody. Uh, as you can see, there's a statue of Vishan right here in the center of the city. Um, some of the trees are on fire. The whole area is being attacked by forces of the Awakened. Uh, for those of you that don't know what the Awakened is, that's the forces of Karafim, uh with the whole Ages End prophecy and the storyline that gets advanced through this game update. Now, behind the statue is uh, one of the dragons that is flying around in Withered Lands that players will actually be able to drive away. And once they've dri driven them away, or driven her away, uh, you'll be able to come here and actually fight her and uh, get a little bit of payback for her knocking you out of the sky in Withered Lands for all the falling damage that you take. So this is Visudra. So players will have a good time trying to defeat her and uh, unlocking her by doing the quest lines and uh, driving her away out of the lands. Uh, there's lots of new zones in, in Sky Shrine where you can do solo, heroic, and raid uh, content. And uh, get to see some furthering of the story of the prophecy. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, thank you for taking a look and uh, hope to see you in the game update. See you later. Sony.